You're going to meet now two podcasters. Oh, they've been on our program months ago, but we've brought them back today because their work has focused on topics and themes that have really been pushed to the forefront in this country at this time. So we welcome back Leah Simone Bowen and Phelan Johnson. They are the co-hosts of the Secret Life of Canada podcast. Phelan is Mohawk and Tuscarora from Six Nations. Both are in Toronto this morning. I'm just delighted to have you back. Thanks for coming back. Hi, thanks for having Thank us. You. Well, let me, let me start with you, Leah. You heard some of the reflections of previous guests, so I'm wondering your reflection. What are you thinking about this Canada Day? Uh, you know, I think for me, this Canada Day, uh, it's one like no other. I think we've seen such an awakening in our country and across the world, really, to anti-black racism and systemic racism uh, in just everywhere. So for me, I think, you know, what I'm thinking about is the opportunity to go further and what it means to be Canadian is that we have... Uh, all the information and all the tools at our fingertips to uh, no longer have the excuse that we don't know, that we uh, didn't know about um, uh, all of the different kind of um, myth making that Canada has really participated in and what that has led to. So this idea that Canada is you know, maybe better, we like to say that we're better than the US, um, that has led to complacency. And so I'm just hoping that this Canada Day, we can all try to do more and do better through learning and through that learning enact change. And, and Fallon, let me uh, turn this to you because I'd like to, you to help us understand why hashtag cancel Canada Day is trending this morning. Well, I think it is trending uh, because a lot of Indigenous people and now I think some allies of non-Indigenous people are, of Indigenous people are uh, beginning to recognize the history of this land and of this country and what this day means to many Indigenous people. Um, I think Jesse Winty uh, was on Metro Morning the other day and said it, I think, perfectly, which is Canada is something that happened to us. So Canada Day is something that happens to us once a year. And so we don't necessarily all feel like it's a celebration that we can um, indulge in because we would be celebrating a power that landed on top of us um, and is still on top of us and is still costing us our lives, our livelihood um, and, and so many other things. You know, our children, our women, um, we are still grappling with what it means to be here with Canada on top of us. We've certainly seen in the issues of criminal justice that have come to the fore, Fallon. And Lee, I'll come back to you in just a second. But speaking on what we've talked about, for example, in our program in recent weeks, we're looking at the videos that have been made public of Chief Adam and, and a number of the other um, deaths of late, captured as they've been in, in video form and bringing those very issues um, to the fore in a way uh, that are, is very visceral for everyone to see. As you, as you reflect on, on those at this time, um, what do you want us to think about? Well, I mean, I think, think about the things that may feel commonplace in this country um, that make those acts of violence against Indigenous bodies acceptable. You know, we're still living in a country where we have racist mascots and racist sports teams' names. We're living in a place where the lineage of a sports team is more respected than the lineage of Indigenous lives. And so while those things can feel so insignificant and small, they do play into what's happening in a larger scope here. You know, if we're not regarded as human or worthy of being respected by being called proper names or we're made into cartoon characters, then it's really easy to murder us. And that I think is something that we need to think about is those those very small, they may seem so very small and they may not seem like very big deals, but they really are the root of so much violence in this country. Leah, on your podcast, um, mid-season, as I understand things, and you're spending some time looking at a hi uh, historical moment for Canada, the Oka crisis um, and what happened in Ganesatage. I'm wondering what you're thinking about as far as what has happened, not just in Canada, but really globally, since the murder of George Floyd and how you're going to look at that and examine that in your work. 
Well, it's been really interesting. You know, we've had definitely a huge response to the podcast in the last month and a half. I think um, people are uh, in a place where they're maybe more willing to listen um, to some of these stories. You know, uh, when we were planning um, on doing the episode uh, around the Oka crisis, um, you know, Phelan was really adamant that it's not that we focus on Ganesataki and the 300 years of um, resistance that happened before the Oka crisis leading up to the Oka, quote unquote, Oka crisis. And I would say like most of our episodes try to do a similar thing. So mm -hmm. we have an episode that really looks at the Underground Railroad through the 200 years of slavery in Canada uh, before the Underground Railroad. So I think for us, it's really about trying to always link the past and the present because there's something, there is a saying that, you know, all history is current. And so all of these things that are currently happening, when we see Indigenous people being overrepresented overrepresented um, and, and black people overrepresented in the uh, criminal justice system in Canada, those things aren't an anomaly. They don't happen out of mm -hmm. nowhere. They're very much linked to our, our history and our past. So understanding that past, key to the future. Phelan, um, given what you've talked about as well, uh, as well as Leah, look to the future for me. And at this time when really we're spending a lot of really time and, 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 and effort to understand better, to listen better, to look to the future. Do you see real opportunity in this moment for reunification and indeed for reconciliation? Well, reconciliation is a tricky one. Um, I do think we're on a precipice right now. I do think there's an opportunity right now for us to really move forward and to take a really big step forward collectively. I think, you know, under under COVID, it has brought some sort of unifying force um, to a lot of people. And so I feel like because we're all in this one thing together, perhaps we can start to sort of unify on other fronts. I'm, you know, I'm a hesitant optimist. Um, you know, I think I, I do feel like we could really make a change now. And I think we see that reflected in the, I think in the podcast, we, you know, there's a hunger for knowledge right now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've, the episodes have been doing quite well because because Canadians are hungry for this information and because they want to know this hard history so that we can move forward. But we really can't move forward until we know what the foundation is. And it's time that we really understood that. All right, Phelan, last word to you, Leah. Are you, would you share that, uh, that description of yourself too as a, as a hesitant optimist, a, a similar kind of, a, kind of approach as you look to the future? Yes, I would say that I'm, you know, one part skeptic and one part, um, you know, overjoyed at this new uh, awakening, as I call it, at this new um, thirst for information. And um, I think an openness that I've experienced a lot of people saying to us, like, I, I, I feel bad for not knowing, but there are no excuses anymore for not knowing. I'm going to come to the, to this information with maybe a, a um, an open, an openness. So yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful. <laughs> um, but I'm, 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 I'm cautious. Let's check back together down the line in a few months and see whether that uh, optimism has indeed become concrete. And uh, we have something to talk about again. But I appreciate the time with you once more this morning, Leah Simone Bowen and Phelan Johnson, the co-hosts of the Secret Life of Canada podcast. Thank you.